Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Sunday. We got four matchups on this NBA slate today, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Work on our way to 20.6K subs. So keep up the good work there. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Uh, great promo, especially with DraftKings. Bet five, get 200 in bonus bets. They have no sweat contests every day on DraftKings. So go ahead and check those out. Really great way to just enjoy the playoffs and have some fun there. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Playoffs been such great so far. Four, you know, four great matchups again today here. Starting with the New York Knicks versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Sixers opening up as a five and a half point home favorite with the over under at 209. Uh, big game here, you know, big win for the Sixers last game, winning 125 to 114. Definitely what they needed. Uh, don't see any injuries here. Uh, the Knicks got to prove they can win on the road. Look great at home. Tough game last game here. And can Philly sustain two two nice wins in a row here? We're going to see because the Knicks have been very good against them. They're 5-2 and two against them. Uh, they're 4-12 and 12 on the road against the Sixers. So they've had, really had their struggles on the road here. Um, yeah, and Philly, they're 6-0 and 0 at home right now. I mean, man, they really need to be at home because that's where they play well. And Embiid coming off a 50-point game. I mean, he dominated the last game. I think the Knicks get... I like the Knicks today. I really do. I like them last... I still like, like them to advance the series. But um, it was a big big game for the for the Sixers here. We'll see if they can do a back-to-back -back games. Because I know they're desperate. But yeah, the Knicks getting five and a half on the road here. You know, last game. You know, tough, tough loss for the Knicks. Losing by 11. I think they bounce back big today. Uh, I'll take the Knicks plus five and a half, and uh, I'll still take a shot with their money line as well today. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Dallas Mavericks. Dallas opening up as a six-point home favorite with the over/under at two hundred nine and a half. Uh, Dallas coming off coming off a big win, back-to-back uh, -back wins, one hundred one to ninety. They dominated last game. Kawhi is questionable. He really was like a no-show last game. Uh, no Tim Hardaway in this matchup. Mavs will be fine without Tim Hardaway. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, the Clippers. Yeah, if you saw how the game pretty much ended, Westbrook getting ejected. The vibes were just off. Kawhi just looks off. Um, yeah, Paul George and Harden. They stunk last game. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm t I was telling every I've been telling everybody before this. I think I think the Mavs. They probably won't, but I picked them to win 4-1. I think they're just going to cruise past the Clippers here. From what I saw last game, Clippers are cooked. Mavs are great at home. Kyrie Luka dominated last game. Game one to me was a fluke. They just shot well. They just shot probably the worst you could ever shoot in, in the NBA. And that's why they lost game one. And uh, since then, they rebounded very well. Yeah. I mean, I, I, like, I like Dallas here. Dominated last game. I kind of expect another dominating game at home. Desperate game for the Clippers, but... Uh, Give me the Mavs minus six in money line at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the Milwaukee Bucks versus the Indiana Pacers. Pacers opening up as a 10 point home favorite with the over under at 216 and a half. And the reason why they're 10 point favorites, no Damian Lillard. He's doubtful. Giannis is out. Um, yeah, so no Lillard and Giannis in a big must win game for the Bucks. Uh, Pacers up 2-1 in the series. Back-to-back -back great wins. Last game was crazy if you didn't watch it. It went in overtime. Chris Middleton was on fire. It's going to be Chris Middleton carrying the load today, but no Lillard, no Giannis. Chris Middleton has the one. Ken Middleton and Brooke Lopez and Bobby Portis carry this team to a win today. It's going to be tough because the Pacers, they've played great the last two games here. They're getting it together. Um... It's just going to be so hard. Their Bucks are one and seven on the road, where they've just been horrible. The overs hit in each of their last six games on the road against the Pacers. So maybe the over could be a play, but yeah, no Lillard, no Pacer, or, and no Giannis. It's just bad vibes for the Bucks. I mean, they've lost the last two with Lillard, so without Lillard, yeah, it's going to be tough offensive wise. We'll see if Middleton can have an amazing game. He could probably keep him in it by himself. But he's going to need help from other guys. And uh, Middleton's off today. I could see it getting very ugly for the Bucks. 
I just don't want to take that journey with the Bucks today. Pacers are playing well. Give me the Pacers minus 10 and money line at home. Then the last matchup, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves versus the Phoenix Suns. Timberwolves opening up as a one and a half point road favorite with the over under at 211. Uh, this is a big game for the Suns here. Minnesota up 3 0. Looking for the sweep today. They've destroyed. It hasn't even been close this series. They've dominated the Suns. Suns very desperate today. Um, Grayson Allen's questionable for the Suns. Uh, Minnesota, you know, they've had their struggles against Phoenix if you look at the numbers, but the numbers haven't even mattered this series. They've just been dominant. Phoenix, Phoenix is just crazy. They're probably the, one of the most talented teams in the league, if not the most talented starting five, and they're just the biggest disappointment so far. I think they're getting swept. They just haven't shown any life. They, they can't stop Ant or really anyone on uh, the Timberwolves. Timberwolves are just playing such great defense. Kevin Durant and Booker haven't had those just dominating playoff games like we're accustomed to them seeing here. Yeah, this was just the wrong big three they assembled. Kind of a joke, honestly. The big three system doesn't work like it used to back in the day when LeBron started it. Uh, not a good big three the Suns have. They have no depth. Minnesota, I think, cruises past the Suns easy here. Get us Getting a nice sweep. Give me Minnesota minus one. You're getting them on a... Even if the Suns lose or win today... You're getting the Timberwolves at a very good value today at pretty much almost a pick'em scenario. So you're getting Minnesota cheap with how good they've been. Even Minnesota money line on the road today. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.